hi Luca, nice to meet you. Uh, thank you so hi, much for taking the time to chat and thank you again, Dr. Pistoni for joining us too. And um, yeah, hi, just buddy. first off- Ciao wanted... Doc. <laughs> Ciao Doc. <laughs> I uh, want to first just congratulate you both. This is a, a truly phenomenal show. I, I think it brings so many amazing themes about hope and resilience and, and compassion, which is, I think, a message we all need to be hearing in the world right now. So I'm um, just really, really thrilled to be speaking to you both today. And um, my first question is, is for yourself, Dr. Piccioni. What is obviously so phenomenal about this show is how it is based off of your own personal journey, recovering from 12 years of memory loss, which you wrote and, and published a, a phenomenal book about. So I, I wanted to, to understand from you what parts of your personal experience in this show were really important for you for, for audiences to understand and, and take away after, after watching the show. Oh, um... First of all, uh, Luca Argentero uh, was able to show exactly what uh, uh, what was uh, what what I felt, and uh, I mean, uh, what you have to to uh, to try to think of this. I was a man of the twenty o one. Uh, who uh, rise up, uh, woke up in uh, uh, 2013, and the world was completely changed. So I, would I was a stranger. Uh, as myself, my body too was stranger to, uh, for, for myself. And uh, he, he was able to, uh, his, he has been able to represent the, the uh, um, stranger for myself. First, first of all, the, the second thing it was able to uh, represent what a patient think because I was a physician, I was a doctor, and to become a, a, a patient was the most uh, a terrible experience in my life uh, because you have to change completely your point of view, and it was the the, the second important thing: what a patient who is also a, who is a physician to think. And uh, this is what, uh, what of my story of my books uh, is uh, really in the, uh, in the series. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I agree. And, and you totally feel that come out in the show in terms of just the empathy and the understanding of, of the patients and, and how that was brought to life. Um, next question would be for yourself, Luca. Because obviously the, the character that you play in the show, Andrea Fanti, is, is based off of Dr. Piccioni's story, but it, he is still a, a fictional character. So what was your balance with the role where you wanted to ensure Dr. Piccioni's story was represented, but also I'm sure bringing unique characteristics that were, were, were unique to Dr. Uh, Fanti as a fictional character? This is what you usually do when you prepare your character. I mean, you, if, if this is a biography, like in this case, you have an incredible amount of information given by the Dante. Uh, this is a very lucky position for an actor. Usually when you play a, a biography, the subject is dead. <laughs> or, or is not reachable, or is a, an historical character. So you can study a little bit, but you don't have the opportunity to talk with your subject of study. So I had access to an incredible amount of information, uh, but at the same time, the script is not, I mean, focused only um, on Pier Dante's journey, but also on a group of character in a newborn family. Uh, our ward, our hospital is a, is a place within a lot of stories came across. And uh, obviously my wife is not Pier Dante's exactly the story. Uh, my Pier Dante has two, two boys. I got one daughter and my other kid uh, who's dead in the in the in the series is a, is a boy, but I mean, 
you always have to make a compromise between the real one, the real part and the fictional part. Um, but it was a very lucky position. Um, so it was a very easy yes uh, at the beginning to accept the, the, the role. Um, but I never imagined to, to get this kind of attention from the audience and from a worldwide audience uh, for this story. Um, we are here. Tomorrow night is, uh, is the second season premiere here in Italy. We are talking with you as, uh, as Doc is airing in Canada too. So we are more than blessed. Uh, and probably part of this uh, blessing comes from, uh, from the words you used at the beginning, uh, patient, release, uh, uh, resilience, uh, empathy, empathy, compassion. Probably in this precise moment of, of the planet, uh, we, we need these words. Yes, yes, I, I definitely agree. Uh, going back to yourself, Dr. Piccioni, how, uh, how were you involved with the, the production and the creation of this, uh, this show? Um, would love to hear a little bit more about how you got involved at the beginning and, and how you had your um, ability to collaborate with, with the show uh, moving forward. Oh, I have uh, in the first series, but uh, more in the second series, I have, uh, um, um, uh, I gave my collaboration, my technical collaboration, uh, like a physician and to uh, supervise the uh, um, episodes and the characters and um, what the, uh, the, the writing of, of the scenes uh, and uh, I was very, very involved in uh, in, in in the uh, in the work of that. That Luca said a family really the hospital, uh, the the, um, the 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 hospital, the, the set of the uh, of the the series uh, became really a, a, a family, and I'm a, a part. Of, uh, of that. And uh, uh, this is very, very interesting because I have understood that uh, uh, Dr. Fanti is uh, uh, one of us. This is the, uh, the, uh, the, beautiful, uh, the beautiful aspect, one of the, of the most beautiful aspect, because people know that uh, uh, Dr. Fanti is one of us. And, and this is, is very, uh, very, very interesting. Uh, Inspect for the uh, communication uh, plan, because one of my topics is today communication between uh, patients and physicians, but also how we can communicate the uh, physician world, uh, the medical world uh, in, to, 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 to other people, not only to the patient, but all over the world. Definitely, definitely. And, and then going back to yourself, Luca, what was your experience like filming this role during a, a global pandemic? I'm sure there were tons of, you know, obstacles to overcome while filming this, this show during the pandemic. So what, uh, what emotions or energy did you feel you brought to this character that you think were unique to the fact that this was all taking place during, during the pandemic? Well, we were shooting the first season uh, at the very beginning of the pandemic. So we stopped the shooting just two weeks before the ending. Um, and then we went back on set like in the summer when, when I mean, the pandemic was a little bit milder. Um, this second, the shooting of this second season has been harder. We stopped like three, four times just because of the protocol. Um, we, we made tests uh, like uh, three, four times a week. And each time that there is a positive, you have to stop the shooting. I mean, um, but most of all, the, our concerns was, uh, as we are talking about the first season, when we aired the first season here in Italy, in the very, uh, I mean, when we were in the full lockdown, full pandemic uh, issues and problems, we worried about how people uh, would uh, receive uh, a show uh, about doctors, about hospitals, about. Uh, so was it was was um, 
was very bizarre uh, because we we received an incredible amount of uh, of love and appreciation and was totally unexpected but finally we found out why i mean i received I mean, in the social generation so social platforms social networks generation i received tons of messages and i tried to read everything um mostly is uh, if i should need it i would love a doctor like andrea fanti if i should need an hospital unfortunately i would love to go in the Policlinico Ambrosiano. Um, this means that, as Pier Dante told, uh, we were trying to explain and show how uh, an Italian excellence um, works. And we are very proud of the tons of messages from doctors and, and uh, nurses and who told us we felt uh, that, that you did the right thing, that you, that you did a good job in representing us. We felt well represented, uh, so thank you. Um, and this was the main concern. Now we are here in the second season, we are all again in a difficult situation. We are, we are not, in lockdown just because of uh, the, the vaccination but cases are rising again and as you see all, all over the world the, the problem is still a problem and now we have to deal with the problem also in the show so for you that you, you you still have to to watch the, the first season and so we don't have to i, I have to switch my mind into because <laughs> the promotion of the second yeah. season i'm a little bit confused but um you will appreciate the the way we show uh, an italian uh, way of doing medicine of uh, dealing with patients and dealing with uh, taking care of others mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I don't want any spoilers for season two yet because we haven't gotten it here in Canada, but I cannot wait. So, uh, <laughs> and and even just kind of building off of that, um, going back to yourself, doctor, what was there a, a moment or a scene in the show that really stood out to you in terms of seeing your story come to life on, on screen? Was there a, a special moment where you really realized like, wow, this is a, a phenomenal representation or a, a moment that you were really happy to see brought to life in, in the show? Oh, the same that uh, Luca has told, already told. Um, I have received a, a, a lot of messages in, in in which people told me, Dr. Fanti has been therapeutic. During the pandemic, a physician that, sh that uh, uh, show you what is empathy, what is hope, what uh, your uh, eyes uh, are for uh, to, to uh, rise, to, to, to go up and to, mm, mm, to, to be, uh, mm, really empathic to, to be a, a, a complete doctor it was mm, that was the moment that i realized that uh, uh, it was very very great what uh, we have done what luke has done what the the, the, the actors has done and because really the, the right word is to be therapeutic because a, a lot of people told me after uh, after uh, doc uh, i never give up Wow, yeah, that's it's it's phenomenal, and and I can and, agree. And for yeah. for a doctor is to be therapeutic twice with my yeah. job and with the fiction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I totally agree, and and I think that just comes through so beautifully in in the story here. Um, my final question would just be for yourself, Luca. We've we've talked a lot about some of these uh, these amazing themes of hope, family, um, but also you know heartbreak and and loss and and how we get through that as humans. So I kind of wanted to get your closing thoughts on what is it about Doc that is unique or special from another 
you know, medical drama we may have seen already on TV? And, and what are just your closing thoughts on those amazing themes that you think our Canadian audiences will really love about the show? Probably the Italian touch. I don't know which is special. Uh, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm a huge fan of uh, The Good Doctor of Freddie Highmore. I'm a huge fan uh, of Doctor House. There are so many good shows, so good, so good medical shows. I don't know why uh, when I see the, the, the scheduling and I see Doc among those great titles like Good Doctor or ER or Grey's Anatomy, I'm still not able to believe what is happening. Uh, it was not planned and was not programmed. Um, Probably the, the Italian touch that I was talking about is something about the way we, we represent the love. Uh, this is a love story at the end of the day. Uh, this, is the, this is a story about uh, loving life, about loving a wife. Uh, it's about loving your son, your kids, your, your family, your group of people, uh, your colleagues. Love is, uh, is, is the key word and probably our way of uh, understanding love and showing love to each other is, uh, is a little bit more special than, than, uh, than others. Probably because we are Latin and, and Italians and we are so, so, uh, <laughs> also, I mean, it's, it's also a pain because love is pain. And so it's so difficult for us to, um, to, to imagine a life without love and all our relationships are truly uh, emotional and, and we struggle for, for everything. And probably this way of understanding, uh, of, of intending life and love maybe have made the difference, I don't know. Um, but law was the, really the key word, also among us. I mean, we, we, we really created a, a, a real family. Uh, we are trying to show a group, the story of a group of people, not just dark, is, is the story of a group of men and women uh, trying to sh show love to the people all around them. It's, this is a, a show about taking care of, uh, is about the, the subtitles is in your hands. It means doc nelle tue mani means in your hands, and we all felt in the hands of somebody else during this pandemic, and so it's it's all about love. Yeah, I agree. Well, I I know we're we're out of time here, but just wanted to say thank you again, both. As I mentioned, so I loved season one so much, so I cannot wait to uh, to see season two when it comes to Canada at some point. And yeah, just wanted to thank you both again for, for your time. It was Thank lovely. you, thank you very much.